stop. The attacking progress of the Highlanders was, has fallen away in the last couple of weeks of close four wins over the Hurricanes and the Cheetahs. They were hoping they'll return to their power against the Brumbies today at home at the Forsyth Bar Stadium with a destructive as ever powerful backline lineup. Hello everyone and welcome along to Coolface Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 and the Highlanders career mode where we are cracking on into these matches here with the sixth game of the Highlanders season and they will be up against the Brumbies who are coming here with a fairly poor record on their books but more on them in a second. It is a Highlanders for us and as I mentioned is it, it is an explosive backline they have on their side this time today with look at it just look at it. Sexton returns back from Irish duty, international duty. He returns to the number 10 jumper, which he hasn't seen much of this year at all. He partners Aaron Smith in the halves, and outside him, well, it's Explosion City. Sonny Bill Williams, Sherwin Stowers, Patrick Osborne, and Christian Wade on the back line with Ben Smith at the back, captaining the squad once again. That is just destructive destructive backline. The forwards, we've got a bit of a change in the back row there with Nasi Manu getting a chance at number six to see how he can adapt to that with such a strong back row players. It's just a chance to see how he goes there. Armitage comes in at seven and O'Brien stays at eight. The second row of Itzabeth and Metallic is strong as ever and the front row sees a return to John Alfoa and Liam Coltman to their jumpers. It's a good squad for the Highlanders. It is strong and even after the last two matches, 10-0 over the Hurricanes and 14-10 over the Cheetahs, the possibilities here are endless for this side. The Brumbies, oh, they've, they're one of the teams that have really exploded into the transfer market. When you look through this team, especially the forwards, and when you have a look at the hooker, Omnel Chinko, that is just a no-name nobody coming into the team for the Brumbies to start at hooker. They also have a man, a tight head prop, Leo o, coming into the side. Wetton is there, not a normal Brumby coming in last season. And then they have a former Highlander, Josh Becuis, in the second row for the Brumbies. Interesting backline selections as well with Christian Leliafano starting a fly half. And it is well confusing as to why they have left normal players in their back line on the bench. They have Tamani and Rathbone on the wings and the centres are McCabe and Kurandrani. So the Brumbies haven't had the best of season this year. Their last two matches were a loss to the Chiefs 28-6 and a win over the Force 38-19. In round 10 last year these two sides met which went 19-14 to the Highlanders. They'll be hoping for a repeat of that. Let's see how this one goes and get down to the action for kickoff of this Super Rugby match with the Highlanders. 2015 has been a good season so far for the Highlanders, apart from round one. Where they lost to that Chiefs side, but now with Sexton back in the team, let's see how things go on for them. They're ready for kickoff. The Highlanders in their blue and gold, usual home strip of the Highlanders, and the Brumbies playing in their away strip as the ref blows his whistle, and we are underway. Kickoff from Sexton. And it's taken down from Afoa, giving it to Coleman in the front rowers are having a ball game already as Nasimanu drives it in for the first breakdown of the matchup, which looks like it'll be a turnover going to the Brumbies. And Nick White going around the short side. Well, he's been taken from Aaron Smith in an offside position. That's interesting. Straight away from the ref. Here's Bicuous giving it to the man we spoke of at the start, Omel Chinko. And that is just, what an interesting selection that is, as it's there for Tamani. He goes to ground. They spread it out wide for that man again on Machinko. And it has gone back for the offside against Aaron Smith. And he will give away the penalty that Mog has in his hand here, taking the on-field kicks. Jesse Mog, and he thumps this one away over halfway. 10 meter line. And into touch from Jesse Mog. Interesting selection of having Christian Leliafano at 10 and not Tumua. The usual number 10 for the Brumbies. Changes are plenty 
for the ACT side as it's taken down from Becuous at the back and they drive on the back of them Brumbies good driving too look at the, the move that they've made they have got miles upfield huge gain and yardage there from the Brumbies here's Lelia Fano, the man we spoke of release just about losing the ball out to Sonny Bill Williams a drop goal attempt is it is it a big bomb it's gone high up in the sky anyway and our forward comes down with it Second time today, he's taking a high ball and loses it straight away as well. This is great stuff from the Brumbies. How wide they go when you have an explosive back line like the Highlanders have, where you just don't give them the ball. Release. It's another advantage to the Brumbies, though. I think there's another offside. And there's a high shot. Well, that just finishes things up nicely from O'Brien. Don't give them the advantage. Just give them the penalty and get it over with. Where was the offside there? It was on Wetton. But surely the Brumbies will have a shot at goal here. Oh. Well, I'm shocked here. I am absolutely lost for words. The Brumbies. Right in front of the sticks. You couldn't have hoped for an easier place to hit two, uh, three points from. And they have opted to go for the corner. And just gain themselves a couple of metres. Five-man line out as well. Here's on Malchenko. Oh, he's throwing it away to Aaron Smith. And O'Brien. And the man in number eight puts his boot to it. Well, that's one way to give yourself some space and time. Throw it to the number eight. They'll never think he'll kick. And it's not a bad one either from O'Brien. He pumps it up over halfway. And that's a good kick too. So on Malchenko will throw in once again. Oh, he takes it quickly to Witten at the front. The Highlanders weren't really set for that at all. They can't drive on him. And in the end, it's Sia who runs it out. Good to Smith. Back inside for Lelia Fano. Oh, look at him. It's Tamani now going through all the tackles. His Bequus chimes in with a bit of a run of his own. Highlanders have had no ball to play with here at all. As Nick White tries to launch something for his team. Still no ball for the Highlanders. It's all Brumbies at the moment. They look to the left side again. Tamani back inside. And that was just about a break there for McCabe. Aaron Smith has got it. And some ball for the Highlanders. They throw it away. Intercepted from Smith. And how about that? The defense is really getting tested here from the Highlanders. Release. Still ball for the Brumbies. They got it once and they got lost it. Here's Leo. Just running it straight off the back. There's Wetton giving it off to White. And they're slowly moving forward here, the Brumbies. Release. Nearly to the 22. Short pass on Malchenko on another run is for the penalty for the offside. And they spin it wide too. It's a chance here for McCabe. Back inside he goes. Try saving tackle on Lelia Fano. Oh, it is. Ratulik is the Release. man for that one. Brilliant tackle. And he has just saved the first conceded try. Aaron Smith goes back to Sexton. And he just has no choice but to put a dinky kick over. Out on the 22. Wow. What a piece of defensive work from the Highlanders. And a change as well here in the front row. Hicks coming on for Leo. Well, that's interesting. Tired out already. A show of poor fitness there from the Brumbies players. Quite remarkable stuff. Here's on now Chico again throwing in. And he's given it away. It's a beef at the front. Here's Armitage. Looking outside, Sonny Bill Williams away for Stowers. Oh, just about got him between the two defenders. Here comes the Highlander support. Wade, he'll play scrum half because it's a Sexton. Sexton's through. He's going to look for the corner, but it looks at things he does. And Williams, Sonny Bill Williams is giving chase. It's between Morgan Williams going for the corner. Let's beat them all into touch. What an outstanding kick that was from Sexton. Quite remarkable how pinpoint that was. And now the pressure's really on on Malchenko to get this right, which she does to Bequus at the back. And again, they've driven well off the back of Bequus' lineouts. And they set it up, just five outs. Now they look to the left side. Oh, great tackle from behind on Pat McCabe. And he is hammered into touch from Aaron Smith. And now. If ever the Brumbies needed a line-out turnover, this is the one. Coltman, his first of the match, and it's not straight. Oh, dear me. Now the Highlanders have lost it. They've got stage fright in front of their own line. Now it's a line-out or scrum option here for the Brumbies. Crouch. 
Tuck. And they've opted for the scrum. The first of the match Shit. here. I don't know how this is going to set up for them. Put in from White, and it's a good shove so far from the Brumbies. Oh, that's an extra special one too. White will go wide, very wide out to Kurandrani. Going back to him. Oh, that is picked off from Aaron Smith. Going back to McCabe. That is all sorts of wrong there. Here's Armitage. Popping up for Osborne, picking it up on the ground, and he gets hammered. Trying to even stand up. He has been smashed. Now, Manu playing well at oh, and number six. Look at Sexton. Can't quite get all the way. And he's got support on hand instantly. Here's our forward. And wider goes for Wade. And that's a first try. They finally sorted their stuff out, the Highlanders, and Christian Wade opens up the try scoring. It's a real battle between the two wingers tonight of Osborne and Wade. The fans just love the both of them. And this time it's Wade that dots down and there's just... When you look, when you have a player like Stowers that you just can't fit three wingers into one team. And it just makes for such a good back line. You see Stowers. Nose for the line. He knows exactly where to go. And he was right there in support of Christian Wade. Now this man here, back from international duty. And how good's he been? No win to contend with here for Sexton. Oh, he strikes out wide. Horribly wide. It was ugly off the boot from Sexton. And that will not please him at all. Demanding a spot back in the team after his international time away. His ball in hand, though, has been excellent. Here's Sexton. His kicking has been very good. And the Highlanders lead... Well, pretty much down to that one spectacular kick too. 5 to nil it is over the Brumbies. Looking at position and territory, 62 and 72 to the Highlanders. That's a huge amount. Line breaks, just three for the match. And that's two for the Highlanders as well. Handlinger is down the bottom, 3-1. to one. That's a pretty clean match so far. The Brumbies just making one uh, unenforced error, which doesn't really help their cause too much. They've been encamped in their own line quite a bit. As have the Highlanders. Of course, the Brumbies should be leading. They've butchered a couple of chances. The Highlanders haven't had a hell of a lot of time in the Brumbies' 22, although a lot of the match has been played around the midway point of the field. It is 5-0. The Highlanders leading this one over the Brumbies. As they look to press on. Oh, they need some points, don't they, the Highlanders? They've had close wins most of the season, apart from two matches. And so they need to pick things up here. The Brumbies are a good team, but they're struggling, having only two wins and three losses and a draw to their name so far. And fourth in Australia, not the best for the Brumbies at all, but they could turn it around here. It's anyone's game. It's 5 to nil. Let's get back down for the second half, about to kick off. Well, we haven't seen much here from the Brumbies. Their attack has been very forward dominated as Mog's kickoff goes down to Armitage. And Stowers picks it up. Sexton is a bit isolated here. Sexton better be careful. He needs a support here. Oh, it's very slow. It's far too slow from the Highlanders. And they have lost that ball. Here's Tamani. Out to the wide he goes. Good fan off there. It's there for the number eight. Who's away? It's Vea. He pops it inside. It's McCabe. This should be a try here for the Brumbies. White, oh White has messed that up completely, he has been smashed, but he somehow kept that ball, here's Vaya giving it away, and another charging Release. run from the forwards, again from the Brumbies, now Kurandrani looks out to Tamani who's been their go-to man, but he is smashed, big tackle from Wade, now they've got a Bicuous, Release. he can't get through but it's also retained ball again, now it's for Smith. Surely a turnover here. Surely it is. Yes, Aaron Smith gets it back. And the Highlanders are on the ball. Nasimanu, big pass out wide for Williams. He's still got two men with him. It's Osborne. Oh, Osborne's messed that up. Looking to chip over the top of Jesse Mogg. He completely mishits it. And it swivels into touch. 
But a good breakaway from the Highlanders. That's what they need to do. And on Malchenko. Boy, he's been involved in this match tonight, has the hooker. And again, it goes down Bickwis to White. Well, that was a new move there from the Brumbies. They go short side. Oh, that is a punishing hit. Unveil. Release. And a penalty. Well, that's interesting. Hands in the ruck there from the Highlanders. Aaron Smith did not release the player. Oh, well, that's a big call. What are the Brumbies going to do now? Oh, still going for the corner. Now you've got to think back. If they took these two shots at goal, they'd be leading. Lilifano is an absolute ace when it comes to goal kicking. And to think that they've thrown away two pretty sure thing penalties is just about criminal. They go back to Bequus again. And this time they play the 1-2 one, once again. Oh, it's a good break. It's a good chance. It's going to be Smith. No, it's Tamani. Tamani's in the corner for the Brumbies. Well, it's paid off for them this time. They've taken the try. They missed out on the penalties. And Joseph Tamani scores for the Brumbies. Well, they've played well. They're wet and ambiguous. But there's just no numbers out wide here. Smith went close. And he just had to say, Wade had to stay on his man, but he just didn't have the time and space. He just, too, too many players to defend there. And you see the Highlanders defenders are all jumbled in the middle there. And once it went over the top of Wade's head, Tamani was far too close to the line to be stopped. And the Brumbies have tied it up. They could take the lead here. With this man, who you would think will make light work of this kick. Liliafano, no worries. That is simple stuff for a man of that calibre. He is an expert goal kicker. And it's moments like those that prove all the difference in a season here. There's 22 minutes to go. The Highlanders now trail by two. And Sexton, well, he's not had the best second half. He kicks us back off. And Aaron Smith takes it down nicely from Aaron Smith. Release. The little scrum half getting the job done from the kickoff. And O'Brien, he'll play the scrum half role. Williams, well not the best there. Sexton picks up. He beautifully disposes it to Wade. Giving it to Stowers. Stowers a smash. Big hit. It's a beat on hand though. That is a good man to have right there to secure your ball. Our forward. Sexton delivers to Williams. Massive ball over the top to Osborne. And that is just a winner. What a try. That is outstanding from Sonny Bill Williams. That is just the perfect pass. Sonny Bill Williams has nailed that one on the head. Watch this. Just watch. Here we go, Sexton. So, there it went like a tracer bullet. Across the screen, the Brumbies had no idea. The vision of Williams here is outstanding. To see that man out there, to see the Brumbies' defense was narrow. It was on the Highlanders' centers, and he just went over the top of them all. Backed Osborne to have the pace to get there, which he did in spades. And he finished that one off. No problem. Such an important piece of play. And it's an instant reply too from the Highlanders. And now Sexton. Second attempt at goal. That's better. That is much better. Nearly hitting Witten on the head. But it's still two points. The difference is five. And a change for the Brumbies as well. Power coming on for Omel Chinko. Well, that's interesting. Power's normally... A second rower or a back rower. Not normally in the front row. Well, this is going to be extremely interesting here for the Brumbies. So many teams have messed up their squads here. We have teams with no scrum halves. We have teams putting in Release. back rowers for hookers. And there's a turnover from the Brumbies. And a big high shot from O'Brien straight away on Liliafano. Well, that's not the start. They kind of wanted their... Surely you have to line this up, Brumbies. You have to line this up, and they are. Oh, it, it boggles my mind how they leave it so, so late to take these kicks. They should have taken the two earlier. Here's Liliafano. It's on target. Is it going to have the distance? No. It's a beef. Comes up with it. 
And he goes to Sexton. Away for Osborne. Now there's trouble for the Brumbies. He chips over the top. Mid-tackle. And Mog. Good play from Mog. Giving that to McCabe. Now the Brumbies are counter-attacking. Good tackle from Alexander. Release. And he goes to ground here. White. Oh, White hammered. Big smashing tackle from Ben Smith. Trying to turn this ball over the Highlanders. They won't get it, but they've got no one at the back here. Kurandrani. Goes to Bekuis. They swing it wide. McCabe over the top for Tamani. But covering across there beautifully. Release. Was Nasi Manu. He stopped that in its tracks. And the Highlanders are still on defence. Here's Bekuis. The way for Kurandrani. And Nick White gets hammered once again. And it could this time be a turnover for the Highlanders. Stowers throws it to no one. It's picked up from McCabe. Unbelievable Release. stuff from the Highlanders. His power. Oh, that is a massive thunderous shot on power. He has been smashed. He looked like he broke his neck in that exchange. Here's Stowers though. He's breaking the line. He's kicked ahead and it's Williams and Sexton giving chase. Look at Sonny Bill fly. And it's gone full time. Sonny Bill Williams. Oh my God, that is amazing. Sonny Bill is having the match of his life. How did he have anywhere near the pace to get that ball? Stowers turns supplier. You see Sonny Bill on the outside of your screen on that last frame. He just flew up. Bob, that is just outstanding stuff from Sonny Bill. Watch him go. Perfect spiral punt too from Stowers. Look how it sits up. This is magical stuff from the master himself, Sonny Bill Williams, provider to scorer. That is sublime. It finishes the match off perfectly as well. The Brumbies were always fighting to get that last score, to get the win. In the end, the Sonny Bill special has put them away. Sexton's conversion, oh, it's off the upright. That is a such a fantastic finish to this match. The rev blows full time. The Brumbies go down. This season gets worse. Four losses now for the Australian franchise. The Highlanders have backed up for their fifth successive win. The Brumbies fought well and they dominated this match. I'm surprised the stats at halftime were so much to the Highlanders. But look how long the Brumbies sat down there. Camped out in the 22 of the Highlanders, but couldn't score more than one try. The Highlanders win this one in the end. 17 points to 7. Three tries to 1. Osborne, Sonny Bill Williams and Wade getting the tries. Now, how do you separate the two wingers? Who's best? Who performed best there out of Osborne and Wade? Of course, Stowers is number one. He moved to centres to give them this chance, but they both got a good try. They were both great on defence. It's it's a conundrum. It really is a massive conundrum. Sexton wasn't so great with the boot. One from three. Well, there's a real battle going on here. Sipawanga is proving that he is capable now of playing this number 10 jumper. I hire West. We saw him last year. He was good enough as well. Sexton... Oh, he's really making this a tough, tough decision on who gets the number 10 jumper. As for the Brumbies, seven points for them. Tamani with the try, and Lelia Fano made the conversion. I'm still surprised their position and territory nudged out to the Highlanders' side. Despite they were encamped in their own half for so long, they just couldn't get out of it. And the Brumbies, look, they got a five-plus phase there, which means that's a long period of having the ball in their possession. Line breaks for 6-3. to three. The Highlanders got that one. They were pretty good on attack when they got the ball, which didn't seem like it was very often. They just kept kicking it away. They kept having to find a way out of their own half. And you can see by the kick stat there, 12-8, to eight, the Highlanders over the Brumbies. 59 tackles to 33 as well. A lot of time on defence for the Highlanders, but they got the job done. They got the win over the Brumbies, 17-7. to seven. And we can now see how this affects the Highlanders on the table with their sixth match. Will it move them up the table any? Or will they still be struggling to keep pace with the top runners? So that win has helped the Highlanders keeping the pressure on the top two sides. They now have 22 points from their six matches. One loss, which is the same as the Blues and the Chiefs. What's a real tight contest now 
the Blues are on 26 have played one extra match so that could see them well get passed by both the Chiefs and the Highlanders in the next match as well that could be interesting the Chiefs are on 23 Highlanders 22 and the Crusaders on 20 it's a close four conference this one the Hurricanes are the bottom on 15 still not out of it but need to put some wins together to climb back up that table in South Africa the Sharks lead the way on 22 double the points of the second place Cheetahs the Bulls are third on 11 and the Stormers 8 Lions 1 just one bonus point for the Lions poor old Lions in Australia the Waratahs are leading the way 22 points for them again of course they were the beaten finalists last year not the best record the Australian sides going fairly poorly here four wins three losses for the top place Waratahs similar for the Reds who are four wins one draw and three losses, an extra match for the MCs, 19 points, equal with the Rebels in third place. The Brumbies sit down there in 12 with 12 points, and the Western Force rounded out with just nine. And that sets us up, the Highlanders and the Chiefs, Waikato Stadium, an away match for the Highlanders, round nine of the competition. Will it be the Highlanders or the Chiefs? This is going to be interesting. Now, the Chiefs, of course, decide they beat the Highlanders in round one becoming the Blues of Season 1. The Chiefs are now that side in Season 2. They are one point ahead and a win here for either side could open up a big gap over the other. So it's a big chance for these two sides. Round 9 of the Super Rugby competition with the Highlanders career. Who would you like to see? Taking on the Chiefs? Let me know in the comments as always. All suggestions taken into consideration and I'll see you all next time for Round 9 of the Super 15. Thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you love the career mode, Give the video a like and a favorite and I'll see you all next time for plenty more rugby. Until then, take care.